We're Wiley and Dre, and for the last 15 years, we've been working the corporate nine to five. That was until we took the plunge, sold our house, and cut ties with the corporate world. Now we travel and adventure with our Siberian Husky Maisha in our self-converted Sprinter van. In this week's episode, we're still in the state of Utah. We strap on our hiking boots and take you to Cedar Breaks and Rice Canyon. We decided to stop at Cedar Break <laughs> National Monument on the way to Zion. We left Park City this morning, so we're just gonna walk around here and maybe do one of the small hikes to break up the drive day. And then tomorrow is Zion. But here is the view. Doing a little hike out to, I think Spectrum Point is what it's called. And this is Ramparts Trail. So we're gonna follow the ridge over here. And then the overlook is right there. So we should get a really nice view of Cedar Breaks. Searching for rainbow colored sandstone views without the crowds, don't overlook Cedar Breaks Park. As you approach the viewpoint, you're able to observe bristlecone pine trees that have stood the test of time. Some of these trees are over a thousand years old. With an elevation at the rim of over 10,000 feet, this natural amphitheater is over three miles long and a half a mile deep. Ramparts overlook. Definitely worth the two miles out. Four miles total, because it's an out and back. But you get a full view of Cedar Break. And it is gorgeous. We are at Bryce Canyon National Park. Starting a day hike. We are going to go down Queen's Garden Trail and also around Peekaboo Loop. So it should be a nice hike, should give us a nice view of the amphitheater and all the rock formations going on. Just hiking and sightseeing in Bryce Canyon today. to get up close and personal with the rock formations and hoodoos. In Bryce Canyon, they have multiple trails that take you down into the amphitheater that you can enjoy on foot or horseback. Queen's Garden Trail. Going down into the canyon. bit short on time, Queens Garden and Navajo Loop are the iconic Bryce Canyon trails. But if you want to spend more time on the canyon floor, add in Peekaboo Loop to get off the beaten path and enjoy more of the park with less of the crowd. This is on the Peekaboo Trail. Couple switchbacks. We just came up uh, the Navajo Trail 
on the Two Bridges side. Pretty sweet view. We just finished our hike. Uh, well, almost. So we started at the Sunrise Point, then we hiked down to Queens Garden Trail. Then we went to the Peekaboo Trail, did that loop, and then we came back on the Navajo Trail to Bridges side. And now we're just walking from the Sunset Rim to the Sunrise Rim. And then we're gonna drive around and see the sights after that.